か。I was working out recently and had one of the greatest realizations and ideas ever. The type of woman that says kill all men is the exact same type of person as a Sigma grind set dude. They both close themselves off from the other gender in order to avoid being hurt and fulfill things that they think will solve their problem, like making tons of money or becoming an absolute beast. But that was just a realization that kickstarted this whole thinking train. And my idea is a film that follows a detective. He's a detective that investigates relationships and the social climate of people and relationships throughout America. And we can call him something like uh, Detective Heartbreak. He's been thinking about the kill all men type of women and the Sigma grind set dudes. And he came to the realization that they're the same, exactly the same. All this time they thought they were so different, but they're exactly the same. Upon this realization, he decided to look through his past clients, people who he had helped through relationships, emotions, or anything like that. And he wanted to see if he could find anybody who fit the description of these types of people. Upon looking into it, he found that there was a woman named Grace. She was in a toxic relationship at the time of his work with her, and she and her boyfriend broke up due to toxic patterns. But she now owns a very successful brand, selling coffee, and owns multiple coffee shops. Detective Heartbreak also happened to find Chad within the archives of his work. Chad was in a relationship during the investigation and experienced the same toxic patterns leading to their breakup. Not only this, but he has now been seen all over YouTube showing others, like him, how to create a social media marketing agency to get rich. Upon these discoveries, Detective Heartbreak decided he should reach out to them and set up interviews. Hey, just wanted to uh, thank you for responding and being willing to have this interview. It's been a while since I last worked with you. Uh, what have you been up to? Shattered, I mean, ever since Chelsea broke up with me, I've kind of committed all my time to the grind. So, I mean, we've branched out, got a couple other brands now for our SMMA. That's what we call it, the social media marketing agency. It's just cooler. Uh, we got Vids For You, Crop It Like It's Hot, and uh, Vibes. So, yeah, we, we've been doing pretty good. We've had a couple uh, 10K months throughout the last uh, year or so, and, um, with that money, I've been able to buy this gym. So this is your gym? Yeah, uh, I, I built it after Chelsea broke up with me. Uh, this is kind of where I spend most of my time. It's a place of beauty. And it's like meditation for me, almost, you know? Why don't you love me, Chelsea? This is where I, where I, I like to kick back. Relax. Speaking of Chelsea, if you don't mind me asking, last we were working together, you guys didn't quite connect. Uh, how have you been able to grow as a person from that scenario, or move on? You know, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, I think a large part of it was realizing that I'm not a, a high value man, and I needed to focus on my business to then, you know, become a person of value to society so that I could, you know, get all the bitches I want because if I have a lot of money, then they'll want that for sure. Uh, yeah. So, the problems from the relationship and the emotional stability, none of that, none of that's a problem. How how have your uh, emotions been? Um, I don't, I don't really have time for those things. I'm kind of too busy all the time. You know, like I, I kind of just got a lot of paperwork to do. I don't really have time for those things. I, you know, speaking of that, I kind of got some stuff to do. So if, if, if you could get out of here. Wait, 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 chat. I okay. 
Well, I am now in the parking lot. I was really excited to ask him a couple more questions, but I guess he has a, a, a meeting. So. That didn't work out too well. Yeah. in the Justin Bieber baby 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 whatever whatever dude I was gonna go through and do a whole scene where like interviews grace too but I um couldn't find a chick who wanted to do some <laughs> acting so and I also didn't feel like walking into a Starbucks with a wig on pretending to be a chick you know I didn't really want to do that either. I need the headphones off, whatever. But <clears throat> essentially, I was going to lay out the, the, the interview with the girl, and it was going to portray her poor uh, representation of men in her head, the narrative that she has set up in her head. So Detective Heartbreak was going to ask her questions about, like, uh, the coffee shop and the money, yada yada yada. Her past relationship, she was gonna talk about how shitty he was. And there was gonna be this line um, where he asked why she decided to start selling coffee. And it was because she hates tea. And he says, Well, what kind of tea do you not like? And she goes, Well, I tried green tea and it was bad. So I don't I stopped trying tea after that. And it was supposed to be analogous to, um, like, her representation of men in her head. And um, as for Chad, his whole representation and narrative was that he needed to just focus on himself, but only um, through materialistic ways, uh, i.e. making money and stuff like that. And by um, the narrative he told himself was that if he pushes through by just making enough money, It'll allow him to uh, get bitches, but in reality, uh, you know, it's not going to work if you don't work on all the problems you got, you know? Just don't work like that. I also found out I need to, when I make these videos, I need to make them like the week I get the idea because if I wait any longer, the idea just doesn't feel fresh in my brain. So, um, ignore the Justin Bieber look we got going. But, um, yeah, I think, I think that gets the point across that I want it. I've been reading a book, um, called Thinking Fast and Slow. Um, maybe I'll put a picture of it, like, over here or something. I don't know. And I really think this book has been a really important read for me because a lot of people think things but don't know why they think those things. Um, I could go on and on about it. I feel like growing up is figuring out the way that your brain works and un just understanding why you are the way that you are, you know? Like, um, me, I was kind of like Chad, where I would just, like, lift super heavy and be like, good day, good day, good day. I still kind of do, but, like, you know, now I don't do it and... Uh, I don't do it just to, like, lift the heaviest weights. Good, 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 good. I, I do it because it's really good for my body and my brain. And it's also, like, sick as fuck just looking big. That sounds so douchey, but it's true. I do like it. I'm, and I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to say it's dumb to look good. Like, I'm at a party and it's hot. I start sweating. I'm the first one taking my shirt off. Like, it's douchey, but you know, if you got it, you got it. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked, but I read <laughs> I read the book. Um, holy shit, Blue, you scared me. <laughs> I just fully flinched because my brother's dog came in. But, um, read this book, Thinking Fast and Slow. Um, kind of a long read and it, and it gets... Um, it was really big brain for me, so I had to really turn on the thinking gears to get through it, but um, I did really enjoy it because I, there's a lot of cognitive biases in your brain that you have. Like with these people like Chad and Grace or whoever, the, whoever it is, 
they they think these ways and they don't understand why and they're gonna think all men are trash just because like a couple few uh, a few guys were just really shitty in their life but they don't think about the way that they're choosing people where they meet them um whether or not it was just plain luck the brain can't comprehend um low percentages like when things are unlikely to happen and they happen multiple times we don't have the ability to just comprehend it up to luck that's why people need narratives that's why people need faith that's why people need all these different things to then allow their stupid monkey brain to go oh that makes sense <laughs> like it's so dumb and i think it's really important to know that because in all reality some things just happen because they happen you know they just do and i think too many people try to put some really really deep meaning to it and it's also sad because a lot of people know that people need a narrative they need something to latch on to that they can like believe in in order to live their life and that's why i think there's like a lot of red pill shit that uh incel or, I don't, should i even say incel? i don't know that people just like really believe in because they need a reason to hate women why they why wouldn't they look inside themselves and think man i hate all women because they don't ever want to talk to me i was like well do you ever talk to them do you ever like offer anything to them do you do anything so then they like hop on the bandwagon of women suck i'm gonna get jacked and then go um make a bunch of money and that's why they'll like me all you're gonna do is get shittier women who then don't like you for you so then it just pushes the narrative further that women suck but you're gonna be searching for the shitty women because they're only gonna want you for your money but that's the only reason that you got the money so that you could get them so then you're gonna get them but you got the money but and it's like it's just so dumb like most problems can be solved if you just look it at yourself objectively and you try to just see yourself from the way other people see you it's like a comedian who's fat and their and their their routine revolves around them being fat the humor is the fact that they are fat and they joke about it and everybody can laugh and go haha yeah it's true he is big it's like the reason why i named this account schnoz is because i got a big ass nose do i care about it no i think it's funny and quite frankly the women love the schnoz but it's like it's just really annoying that people don't check the narratives that they believe in. And I'm not saying question, don't, I'm not saying go all schizo on everybody and question everything you've ever believed in. Uh, well, I kind of am a little bit, actually. You should question most things, but don't, don't question it and get yourself in little thought loops. Just question it enough to where you allow yourself to consciously make an effort to make the things you believe in make sense that's what i that's what i mean you you can, just make sure you have an answer for the things that you question or if not search for those answers like there's too many times where people want to um just believe in a thing because they believe in a thing so then when somebody comes down the line and they start making them question their beliefs they can't even defend it you know like they don't have the ability because they never questioned it in the first place so then someone's like oh my gosh i don't want to get political it's like someone who just like believes that you shouldn't abort a child ever 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 and then someone comes up to them and they're like yo i think someone should abort a child and then the two people argue but they just believe in it because they believe in it so they both just argue back and forth being like i believe this way because i believe this way and it's like well can you supply some actual juicy meat to the to the to the meal that we're having here the debate is a meal in this scenario i guess it's like ah uh, it's just gross dude like Believe in whatever you're going to believe in, but believe in it for a reason. Don't just blindly have faith in anything, okay? Uh, love you. Stay safe. Uh, schnoz out. <laughs> Little schnoz X is, is out of here. <laughs>